well the spiritually um, I learned uh, how to walk with them how to be with them and uh, their faith I find uh, truly inspiring for me and uh, walking with them I know uh, the struggles that they have gone through the solidarity among themselves I think that really helps us to be more bonded together and I think uh, um, that experience also teach me the, what the real pilgrimage is all about mm. Mm. because I, as I've said uh, to some of them perhaps this is the first pilgrimage I ever did in my life of course I've gone for other pilgrimages sure. but I think the others uh, are very comfortable uh, more of sightseeing, of course there are also prayers involved but this one was really a pilgrimage to live uh, in a very simple way things are not predictable and uh, to suffer the inconvenience and that have taught me what it means to be a real missionary for Christ what it means to really uh, give our commitment to the Lord and so that's why when I see these young people they are really inspiring but I think most of all if you were to ask me what I learned from this uh, whole trip is this, you know. Um, if we suffer together, mm. that suffering brings joy, it brings life. So even though all of us were suffering in different ways, uh, carrying certain burdens and uh, str struggling with all the inconveniences, but we were still very happy and they were still very joyful because why? We didn't suffer alone. And I think for me, that is also an important lesson to learn. Uh, as uh, Catholics, we must not journey alone. If we journey alone, we cannot make it. If I were to go for the pilgrimage alone, I don't think I could make it. Because when you think of the hours of walking, standing under the sun, I don't think you would want to go. But because we did it together, we support each other, we encourage each other. So in that sense, uh, it was a real uh, lesson for all of us that if only Catholics were to come together in solidarity, working together in communion, then this journey will be possible.